into his eyes and couldn't recognize her son because he doesn't even look like himself. She was curious. She became eager to know the reason behind his silence. She persuaded him to speak. His face was buried beneath the ground. His lips were shaking like a man whose life was at the verge of death, but he finally spoke anyway and he said, Pardon my manners, ma, I do not crave your indulgence. Before I embark on this journey, I have finally been initiated. She could not contain the words she heard. She screamed and shouted loud. Her voice echoed through the roof where she said, Jesus! And he said, do not mention the name of my Capone in vain. Your Capone! Your Capone! It is what you want the tertiary institution to become. But before I explain, you know when you are newly admitted into college, you can easily be intimidated. So I decided to get fortified. That evening when I was in the hostel where I reside, some men approached me with the constitution from their kingdom. The word they spoke persuaded me, so I decided to honor their invitation. That evening, when I got to the province, the man who represented the Capon spoke words. Words so powerful that it swept me off my feet. I fell for L-O-V-E. I decided to get initiated when I blend in. I took the oath. They gave me an orientation before my induction. I was buried beneath H2O and I rose. Buried beneath H2O and I rose when I rose. I started speaking the language of the gods. I started speaking coded language that was made for the initiated. I spoke in tongues. She came close to rip off his clothes to see if he still have scars left or injury due to the brutal torture he might have received when he was going through the initiation process. He said, hold on, ma. My capon took lashes from her lashes, so he took nails from her nails. He was brutally tortured for my sake, so I would not be enslaved when I came. Then she looked at her son. She said, you mean you went to the tertiary institution of higher learning to belong to a fraternity. He said, yes, the fraternity of divinity. Because what this world offers is vain, that the end is full of calamity. So I choose to belong to eternity. He looked at her, he said, my way I belong now. We always have our meetings in the evening, every first Sunday of the month. We come together, we drink blood and we eat flesh. We drink blood and we eat flesh. Then she came close and she said, please, I want you, I want you to, to lead me to, to die your capon. I want to get initiated too. I told her, don't bother, ma. I represent the capon here. Let me do the initiation myself. And each and every one of you know that no initiation on this earth can ever take place without the tools. No initiation on this earth can take place without the tools. When she said she wanted to give her life, I brought out my tools. I brought out my tools. I brought out my tools. The tools that will not chastise you. The tools that will not leave mark on your body. The tools that will not leave you going home in pains. I brought out my tools when I was done with her. She said she received peace that she never heard before. My brethren in the brotherhood, this is war. This is war! And there is no neutral ground. And if you are not with us, you are making issues worse. And as for those who will sail through just to fish men, and when you go through a time the storm might be raging, don't forget your perfect anchor is with you. Your point one is always on board. The ship cannot capsize. And he will always say, peace be still. Peace be still. And make could not forget. Now blood, now we drink, no be zobo. Eternity where we belong, no be yolo. Purify we cut of many colors, no be polo. Now God be our defender, no be yolo. Don't forget, we bear the mark of Christ, we don't disembark. We bear the mark of Christ, we don't disembark. So when we are coming back and someone scream and say, Who goes there? We tell them, Jesus. Who goes there? 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 Who goes there?
Boston! Would they fly color? And the color where would they fly? At the blood of Jesus now in the inside. The anointing upon our life, no, they pamper egg. If they break the yoke. The anointing upon your life, no, they pamper egg. If they break the yoke. God bless you.